Is it time to kill the till? It's time for our checkouts to check out. Supermarket customers may soon have to get used to a new way of paying for their shopping. Marks and Spencers have become the latest food retailer to test an app which allows people to buy their shopping without having to use a till. Users of the app called Mobile Pay and Go scan the barcodes of what they want on their phone, pay via the app, and then walk straight out of the shop. No queues, no hassle, no fuss. Well, we sent our very own Declan Fanning out to ask local shoppers what they thought of the idea. I wouldn't have it on my phone for one reason. I don't think there's enough security surrounding it. Maybe in the future, but right now I'm not wild on these smartphones or anything. I wouldn't know. Can I'm you, in an old Nokia phone. Can you I'm pull out that phone one more time? Can I see that's, that's what I'm a, going to stay with. That is a Nokia. I don't know if it's a 3310. That is, and that's an old school phone. That's it. But it works. It works. And I bet you it charges for days. That's for eight year old. And it does everything you need. Rings people, that's texts people. That's all I want them for. Um, possibly something that we we'll use. Just say, carrying my purse and pulling out cards and that. Uh, you have a young one there with you. So what is it like queuing up then when you're trying to unload all the stuff? Is, is it a nightmare? Um, it can be if you're trying to push a pram and trying to get all your groceries as well as push the pram as well. And then if they're not in the pram, they're trying to run away. So it can be a bit of a struggle. So it is something definitely as a so mummy I would use. Yourself, so you wouldn't you wouldn't have it on the phone? It would be no good to no, you? No good to me. Will I, be in, will I be in Irish as well, in Gaelga? Because I think that should be bilingual if I'm going to do that. Would you use it yourself? I would use it myself, yeah. So there'd be no more checkouts or anything like that? Save you a hassle? Far better. The keys is a killer. Big time. There you go. A couple of mixed views on that. I don't know how I would feel about using it myself. Dr. Kevin Kern, Professor of Cybersecurity with Ulster University, joins us. Good afternoon to you, Kevin. Good afternoon. Kevin, is this a good idea? It can be, of course, because people hate waiting in queues. But of course, research shows actually that that people who wait in line tend to buy more stuff to offset the time lost standing around waiting to pay. So shops may lose in that respect. But it is a kind of a, a coming trend that Marks and Spencer's now have the mobile app, which you walk in, you scan the item, effectively turning your mobile phone into a mobile scanner, um, and then you just can walk out again. And it will display um, a, a receipt on the screen so that you can show it to someone who may be at the door to prove that you bought the items. But it's really aimed in these stores, particularly these Marks and Spencer stores, at the lunchtime shoppers. It's where you have that explosion at lunchtime with city workers coming in, trying to grab their sandwiches and things. And this is a way of being able to just get them to get in and out again quickly. And the technology is there. Why not use it? And they're obviously showing that it works and that 20% of their sales are now using this app. And again, in the wider scheme of things, we're seeing Amazon have a thing called Amazon Go. And these are stores that you walk into and you use your app and there's hundreds of cameras which track your every move. And when you take an item off the shelf, you can put it back on again because the, the shelves have weights. They know if you bought it or took it or not. And you just get billed. You don't have to take your phone out of your pocket even as you leave the store. It'll charge your credit card. So Amazon have rolled out about six of these stores and the plans to roll out actually a few thousand of these. So it, it actually is a likely trend we're going to see is cashierless stores. Kevin, you say cashierless stores, but that just means more people losing jobs. Well, yeah, I mean, again, there's been trends or reports have shown that as many as 7.6 million retail jobs are at risk of automation in the next decade alone, you know. Um, uh, and again, you know, it's just, yeah, it's one of those things where, again, that, you know, companies, if they can automate something and they're showing that they can with these proof of concepts, again, they're, they're going ahead and doing it. Yeah. Kevin, one of the problems I've had when I'm in, in supermarkets, and, and this varies between Belfast and, and being here in Derry, there's certain parts of the supermarket where I have no phone signal. What, how would that work? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That can be a problem because in these cases, you have to be connected to the internet. What shops can do, of course, is they can bring in their own cellular connections and make sure they've got good Wi-Fi because that's all you need effectively. You know, be able to connect to the store's Wi-Fi. Or else bring in what we call the mini cell towers, the repeaters for the, for the, for the phone system as well and just try to boost the signal. But again, that is a problem. You do need to have um, a connection. But again, some of these apps can also do it where you're billed later that you're, you know, using the in-store Wi-Fi. But generally, yeah, you know, a connection 
it is needed for most of these applications really and um uh, again, you know, people will say, well, you know, this seems like an easy way to scam, but it's actually more difficult than you think. And also stores are aware of the, the, the percentage that they allocate to shoplifting anyway. And um, actually in the Amazon Go store, you can't really shoplift because, you know, you've got to get in with a credit card, which is valid and that's syndicated against your account. And literally everything you do with the hundreds of cameras watching you stops you from doing any shoplifting. <laughs> so again, the technology actually can overcome the problem of shoplifting. I suppose everybody, you know, automatically goes to the the, the crime aspect of it. But I, I give online, sh you know, the click and collect or delivery shopping a go, and my web browser timed out, and I lost my entire order. I said, I'm never doing this again. Could you imagine starting there? You're halfway through your big shop, and your phone battery dies. Uh, possibly. Now, at the moment, I will say with the merchants app again that you're limited to 30 pounds and again that you can't buy alcohol medicines or any loose fruit or veg because they don't have barcodes on them or the most of them don't so it's actually limited to some niche products because of course there is products that people would generally go for to try to scam um so it's generally not seen as a big shop yet but of course you know that that will come as well in, in the future but at the moment it really is for more convenience and for you know lunchtime shoppers well, finally, Kevin, if I can just ask you, do you think this is the way we are going? Is this the, the end of the till? I, I do. I, uh, you know, whether it's not one of those things you can roll out very quickly, but it definitely is trend towards again because they will, like everything else, they will, they will have problems at the start. They will iron those out. It'll become more cost effective. It'll become cheaper for stores themselves or, you know, for people who own supermarkets to actually deploy, really, the technology. Again, connections will get better. Our phones, everyone's got a smartphone now. So it really is one of those things that you just can't see why it won't roll out even further than it is at the moment. Professor Kevin Kern, thank you so much. Uh, I, for one, don't think I'll be using it. Um, and I think an awful lot maybe of, of our older shoppers get some interaction from the checkout tills, but we will keep an eye on it for you.